Today on your Good Morning Coffee. Coffee. We're going to talk about XQC. Yesterday was getting canceled, supposedly. You know, everybody wants to cancel everybody. XQC was getting canceled for saying this. Bro, bro, like you pet dog bro. I'm going to give it a buck. I'm going to give it a buck. I can, I can take my daily check and buy your entire bloodline. And the problem about that is he was saying that to a person of color and he wanted to buy or he said he could buy his entire bloodline. Well, obviously, XQC was saying that because he wanted to put himself above the man making fun of him by calling the other guy poor. This happens all the time. But now he's done this to a person of color. It worked. Yeah, it worked. It worked. I sent it. Did you get it? No way. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Bro, oh, thank you so much, bro. You got it, man. He bought a person of color good, man. a good. gaming PC. Oh, bought thank it. you so much, bro. More money for it. Does that rectify any supposed racism from the previous day? Was this damage control? Was this XQC just being nice? Is XQC nice? Is XQC a racist? What do you guys think about this? Now we got to talk about G basketball player. Good day. Giddy, giddy. <laughs> so a new video has come out about Giddy and his junior in high school, supposedly, at the club. Watch. Now this comes as allegations are stirring that this girl is 16 all the way up to 21. Who knows? She's a junior in high school, allegedly, and they've got information on her, allegedly. But what we do know is this. This video. Trent, what's up, man? It's Josh. Good with your beautiful sister. Uh, good luck for your season. We need to go to Sacramento soon for a game, so all the best of luck. We're going to come up and watch you. Uh, take care of business. This video. Man, find another bar right at the front of the club. Ready, Me and my girl. Bad head back to mine. Trent. This photo. Now, if this did happen last year, which a lot of people are saying it happened last year, some people are saying it happened earlier this year. If she's a junior in high school as of last year, allegedly, she's 16 to 17. He's 21. If this happened last year, it was 20. He would have been 2016 or now 17, 21, allegedly. She could be 18. We don't know. If that's the case... It actually might be legal with the Romeo Juliet laws, depending on where that happened. Because you could be 17, 19 in some places. You could be 16, 19 in some places. But as far as this goes, we have no idea. So, but what do you guys think? Do you think he got with a 16-year-old and he should be kicked out of the NBA for, um, you know, malicious intent of a minor? <laughs> Because uh, I, I got to be honest, I have no sympathy for predators. None. If you can have sympathy all you want to, oh, but he plays really good basketball. I don't know if he plays good basketball or not. I don't. I don't care. Predators all need to go to prison. All of them. But what do you guys think about this? Next, Black Friday. Completely dead. Everywhere. Completely dead. Watch this video. Is anything different? There is no one here. This yeah, can you believe that? Nothing. It was completely empty. And a lot of places not only weren't slashing their prices, they were actually raising their prices. I did a whole video on this on my backup because my backup is more like, you know, kind of wholesome content, whereas this is pure entertainment. And they were literally ripping people off. They had clearance items marked up so it looked like you were getting a deal but you weren't because they were putting the sticker <laughs> on top of another sticker black friday of course there was um there's a lot of non-fighting this year because most people just go online now and here's here's the statistics for online to non-online sales it's, I think this is the trend. We are going to stop fighting in line and we're going to start fighting online. 
for deals on Black Friday. Well, what do you guys think about that Black Friday? The most lackluster Black Friday of all time. <laughs> lackluster. Uh, you know, there was there was a lot less uh, fights, which is fantastic because nobody wants the fights anymore. This is 2023. Mr. Beast just proved the existence of aliens, and I'm not kidding. In his latest video, $1 versus $10 million jobs up right now, he goes through everything from gold panning, which could be a dollar a year, all the way up to a $10 million a year player for the Buccaneers NFL football team. However, during this, he goes to NASA to go be an astronaut for $200,000 a year. And it was there that they said this. I've been open since it came back. And since you haven't checked in theory, there could be an alien. Yes. Well, it would be the first from the moon. Wait. From the moon. <laughs> and after we found out aliens were totally real. Aliens confirmed. Aliens confirmed. I mean, there's no confirmation, but it's kind of fun. Also, he's also getting canceled for confirming aliens. You know how the internet is. The internet hates Mr. Beast for doing cool stuff and helping people. That really makes them angry. But guys, go check out the $1 versus $10 million job up right now on his Or sorry, on his, I can't say that. So I'm going to have to bleep that out. Son of on his, this platform right here, 214 million subscribers in only 21 minutes. He's got 1.5 million views. Check it out right now. And that's it. What do you guys think about this? This is your good morning coffee. Also, I've got, um, where is it? Where are they? They're right there. I've got a giveaway going on. And the only way to get this giveaway is to go to my, this channel, I'll put, it right, I'll put it right there, go to that, check this out, and I've got code words from a video a couple days ago, it's going to be this video, there's code words in it, they're all, they're sprinkled throughout, and today's code words are actually going to be in this morning, this good morning coffee episode, so to get these you have to know these code words. There's going to be two of them. Now, the code words from the last one, you're going to have to go get from that video right there, this one. But to get these code words, first, you're going to have to put in Black Friday. That's one of the code words. Second code word is bald. That's it. That's the two code words. And you can... You can I just need you to subscribe. I need you to post it in the comments and I need you to like up this video. This this part of the video is only on my YT. It's only on this platform. So this is the only place you're going to see it. I'm going to post it and on Monday I will be narrowing down who is going to be the five people that are going to be in the running for these two cards. One of them is a 5,000, the other one is a 1,000. And then on Tuesday, I'm gonna have you guys on the live, whoever those five people are, I'm gonna ask you questions. If you get those questions right, you get those cards. Um, There's gonna be a first and a second, obviously the first person gets 5,000, second person gets the 1,000, and then the rest of you, I will congratulate and you guys have a great day. But, um, yeah, thank you. This is, uh, this is the good morning coffee. I will actually probably post this, but I'm going to beep out. <laughs> I'm going to beep out the code words. Uh, and you'll have to come to my YT to actually see it. So come, like, share, and subscribe. You have to be subscribed to my YT. There's no other way around it to get these um, cards. This is your good morning coffee. Thank you so much for being here, and I appreciate you all. You're all absolutely amazing. Gavi.